If you want to level up your Mac productivity, then stick around because in this video, I'm going to be talking about how you can use Text Expander, Keyboard Maestro, and Stream Deck together. Hello, welcome to Take One Tech. My name's Alec. And in this video, we're going to be basically combining three of my favorite productivity tools. Now, I did a beginner's guide to Stream Deck, so uh, you can find that in my Stream Deck playlist. I'll leave a link up in the top corner. Uh, I also did an introduction to Keyboard Maestro about a week ago, and so... I'll leave a link to that video in the top corner as well. <laughs> and just yesterday or the day before, I can't remember now, I did a video about Text Expander and that was kind of an introduction to uh, that piece of software. So link up in the top corner as well. And uh, the point of those two videos for Text Expander and Keyboard Maestro is that they are intended to be uh, an initial step in building out a sort of beginner's guide and then moving on to an advanced productivity guide where I basically combine all of these things. Well, that was the plan, but somebody's actually asked how to uh, use these together or specifically how to use Text Expander with Stream Deck. Uh, and the way I do it actually involves Keyboard Maestro as well. So I thought uh, I will just jump ahead a little bit to answer this question uh, and it will give you a bit of an insight into what is possible. And then I'll go on to do all of the rest of the introductory videos for uh, Text Expander and the Keyboard Maestro and then, yeah, yeah, as I say, I'll be building this all out into a whole series of workflows uh, using these tools, but then also combining them with things like Moom and also Apple Script and also Apple's Automator uh, program as well. So let me uh, start by just uh, refreshing on where we left off with the text expander video. So as I say, if you haven't watched that, then uh, you can see that uh, I linked to it previously and also it will be in the description as well. But I will just recap on exactly what was done in there because I'm going to show you how you can trigger these things with uh, Stream Deck as well because I do use uh, text expander and have some of my snippets triggered with uh, Stream Deck. So let's have a look at how to do this. So I'll come into my screen sharing and immediately share the wrong part of my screen. Uh, this is the one that I want to share. <laughs> uh, so this is Text Expander and these are the little examples that I created in the last video. So we had a uh, an initial snippet which uh, just to refresh your memory uh, if you didn't see it as well uh, was if I type F comma comma it automatically expands out to put a date stamp which I'd specified here so that's taking the actual date uh, and then also uh, a bit of text afterwards. There was some other ones that I did in there as well uh, so we'll come on to those as well. In fact the other two, the next two, were really just more of the same really so a little snippet of text expanding to some more text. The uh, last one though, the one that I did with the uh, company information, that was a bit more interesting and uh, let me just give you a quick preview of that one and we'll get on to doing both of these uh, in a moment. So I want to do a new mail and I'm going to put my mail up there and the point of this snippet here was that if I come down and grab an email address this was uh, the example that I used here was if somebody says can you send me some of your company information uh, then we created this snippet so if they give us their email address then I can just come in here and type a little shortcut which was x comma and text expander will ask me for the name of the person so I'll just say that I'm going to send it to myself and as soon as I press return, it populates the email address, it went and put the subject in, it tabbed down to the main body of the email, it uh, entered the, uh, the name of the person that I just put in, and then gave the company information, whatever that was. And so then you are free to send it. Well, I'm going to show you how to take this to the next level, because basically, uh, we don't need to be doing all this stuff ourselves. We don't need to be pressing return and send and things like that. We can automate all of that using Keyboard Maestro and Stream Deck. And all we need to do is just actually grab the... Uh, uh, email address and then press a button and it will do the rest for us. So that's what we're going to automate today as well. But let me come back to the uh, uh, the simple one first. So uh, we don't need that. So what I'm going to do is just come back to this first snippet and show you how I would do that in uh, Stream Deck. <laughs> the name slipped my memory completely for a moment there, in Stream Deck. So um, let's come over to Stream Deck for a moment because uh, you may think that tech, uh, Stream Deck itself can do this sort of stuff, this text expansion. And indeed, for very basic stuff, it can do that. So let me just come over to uh, the Stream Deck screen. This is the right screen this time. So in uh, the system section of the uh, Stream Deck, we have got a thing here, which is text. So if I drag that onto the screen like that, um, here what you can do is you can give it a title. So I'm going to call this 
little test snippet and we could write here this is a stream deck snippet if i can spell right so uh, here we've got our little part uh, section of text and so if i bring my little notepad area down here one second just get it onto this screen so now if i come down to an empty part of here and i press this button on my stream deck then it does indeed expand out that piece of text so it can do some basic stuff but you are limited with the number of characters you've got so for example here you can see that the character limit on stream deck itself is uh 500 characters whereas on street uh, on uh, text expander it's i don't want to say it's limitless i'm sure there is a limit but i certainly haven't run into it and i do all sorts of things like contracts and proposals and all sorts on it so um you could do a lot more with uh, text expander basically you can also do formatted text and things like that and you can do more advanced things like i showed you with that email where it basically fills out different fields and tabs through them and so on so that is why text expander is far more versatile than using the built-in functionality in uh, stream deck so you may think that in order to trigger a text expander snippet could we just actually create a snippet in stream deck and let me just move this out of the way uh, so you could think if i put in the text here and then i type the snippet so our um, little shortcut for that was f comma comma so if i was to put f comma comma in there then you might think that by pressing this button now it would actually trigger the snippet but uh, the, the text expander snippet that I used as an example, that is. But if I actually press that, all it does is it just puts in the text because rather than um, typing it, it is just simulating pasting it. So it's not simulating the actual keystrokes. And text expander is looking for those simulated keystrokes in order to trigger the text expansion. Uh, and it won't do it just by pasting in the values. So this is where Keyboard Maestro comes in. Now, don't worry, this is pretty uh, basic that we're going to do now in Keyboard Maestro. So there's nothing uh, too uh, difficult. And I know that some Keyboard Maestro aficionados are going to say, why would I be using text expander when actually keyboard maestro can do text expansion? So we could just do it all in keyboard maestro. Well, there is a reason, and that is that um, text expander is very good at what it does. And so I do all of the things related to text expansion <laughs> from within text expander. There are a few occasions when I also want these little snippets and these uh, uh, snippets of text and whatever i want those to be available on the stream deck so in those few cases what i do is i create a little keyboard maestro macro uh, that basically triggers the snippet for me but that way i always know if i need to find my text expander uh, or my little text snippets i know where they're going to be so that is uh, is why but it is true you could actually do a lot of this in just purely with keyboard maestro and stream deck so you may think it's a little bit of a uh, an extra step but it, i'm hoping that it does make sense so i've got a little uh, dummy group in keyboard maestro and as i say if you uh, haven't seen the keyboard maestro video yet then do go and check that out because i go over the sort of basics of this but uh, this is as about as basic as it comes for this first one at least anyway uh, so what we're going to do is i've got my groups here and i've just got a little demo group of uh, macros so i'm going to create a new macro and all we want to do is we want to actually create a macro that's basically going to type that little string of text. And all I want it to type in this case, uh, in the case of this particular snippet, is I want it to type this uh, F comma comma. In fact, I'm just going to come here and I'm going to actually copy that right now because uh, that's the abbreviation that we want it to trigger. So coming back to uh, Keyboard Maestro, uh, we don't actually need to put a keyboard shortcut for this because I'm going to I'm only using this to trigger it from Stream Deck. So I'll show you how we do that in a moment. So uh, there's no point to create a, a separate trigger in uh, Keyboard Maestro because we've already got the trigger in uh, in Text Expander. So let's go and add a new action, which is basically we just want it to type this string of letters. So I'm going to go to new action and then I'm going to come in here and just start writing type in the search field. And here we've got a few options. We can either type a modifier key, so that's either command, control, or a shift, or whatever. You can type a keystroke, so that would be if you wanted to simulate typing a keyboard shortcut like, I don't know, command S or something like that, or command C for copy, or whatever it happened to be. Um, there's also insert text by pasting, and that would simulate basically what text exp um Sorry, that would simulate what <laughs> Stream Deck is doing by just pasting a block of text. But this is the one that we want. We want to text um, 
sorry, to insert text by typing. So this is going to simulate the behavior of you just typing it yourself. So I'm going to double click on that one. And all I'm going to do in here is add in the text string. So there we go. That is the text string that we've got for our tick, uh, trigger for text expander. I'm hoping that this is making sense. Uh, so let's give this a name and uh, I'm just going to call this uh, test again just for uh, in fact it was called first snippet was the way that I described it in text in uh, text expander so let me call it the same uh, there we go so now we've got a little action in keyboard maestro called first snippet and it's going to type this string of text t comma comma so if I come back to my text expander here this is called first snippet and it's activated by typing t comma comma so what we're going to do now is we're going to use Stream Deck to actually activate this keyboard maestro action. Okay, so I'm going to move that out of the way. And what we're going to do is we're going to come into our Stream Deck. And what we need to have is we need to be able to control keyboard maestro from Stream Deck. So I'm going to come up to the little plus icon here. And uh, what we're going to look for is there is Keyboard Maestro. I mentioned this in the introduction video. So there is a Keyboard Maestro plugin. And this is to trigger a macro in Keyboard Maestro. But you can also use it the other way around to have Keyboard Maestro trigger some of the actions that you've got in your Stream Deck. Um, however, I don't usually do that. What I do is I'm only interested in triggering the things on Keyboard Maestro. And I have found that there is another plugin that's a third party plugin called KM Link. Uh, and there you go. And this is for me much better. And you'll see why uh, in a moment. I've already installed it, but if you haven't, then just click on the install button. Now, when you install uh, plugins to Stream Deck, they usually appear down this side. So like I installed Ecamm Live and there we go. We've got the Ecamm Live plugin. Uh, I've installed Zoom and the Zoom one is there. Well, KM Link is one of these ones that's just only basically got one action. And so that is appearing in here, this custom a little section. So there we've got uh, KM Link in there. So now I'm going to add this down to this bottom button. And you can see it's got the little uh, keyboard maestro icon, the command symbol. Uh, and all you do is basically come down to here where it says select a macro and click here and you'll see all of your macros in Keyboard Maestro and it also highlights the last modified one right at the top. So I'm going to click on here. So now when I click that button, it's going to activate the macro in Keyboard Maestro first snippet. And that in turn is going to type our key string for our uh, <laughs> text expander snippet this is com it's confusing me talking through all this one step at a time I'm usually just flying through it without really thinking so <laughs> let me come back to this now and what you'll see is where before it only typed out our string if I just press return onto a new line and I press this little button on my stream deck what you'll see is it does actually type the string and that expands into text as well so that is exactly the behavior that we wanted I feel like that was quite a long-winded explanation of basically saying we've just created a small little uh, macro in Keyboard Maestro that simulates the, le the, uh, the letter sequence to trigger our text expansion. Is that clear? <laughs> I don't know. It should be clear, but it might not be. If there is any uh, confusion about that, then do just uh, drop a message in the comments down below and uh, let me know, and I'll uh, I'll see if I can uh, explain it any differently. I think I think I I think I explain the steps, but there you go. Sometimes I confuse myself with these things. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to tackle something, to be honest, that is a little bit more advanced. Uh, because it is going to get into multi-actions in Keyboard Maestro. And what we're going to do is I'm going to come back to that example that I had of that email uh, sequence. So here we've got a, um, uh, a sequence that basically takes what we've got on the clipboard and it pastes it. And in our case, we went into the to field of the mail and then it tabbed down twice to go to the subject and it pasted in the subject that we'd written there and then it tabbed down to the main uh, body of the email uh, and it prompted us for a name so the name of the person so we put the name in and then it filled out the rest of the details uh, and completed the email and then we were left to actually finish off the email by pressing uh, um, return or rather send <laughs> so what we want to do is we want to actually simulate that whole thing now in keyboard maestro so that all we have to do 
is actually just copy the email address that we want it sent to and then it will do everything else except prompt us obviously for the name which we still need to put in manually so uh, let's uh, let's give this a go shall we i'm feeling ambitious <laughs> Okay, so if we come back to Keyboard Maestro, what I'm going to do now is take uh, is create a snippet that uh, sorry a macro that simulates that um, that whole process that we've just uh, just looked at. So I'm going to uh, create a new one and I'm going to call it the same as the text expander snippet is called, which is Company Info Mail, as an example. Uh, there we go. And now what we're going to do is um, I'm not going to bother with an actual trigger for this because we're going to trigger it by Stream Deck. But we're going to add in a series of actions. Now, uh, this is going to perhaps seem a little bit complicated, possibly, if you are totally new to Keyboard Maestro. But it is just a series of simple actions. And what we're doing is really uh, still only going to be just scratching the surface of what is possible with Keyboard Maestro. Um, but when you are looking at creating these things in Keyboard Maestro, I mentioned on one of my last videos, the point is not really to think about all the things you might want to do with it and then create them all at once and then probably forget that half of them even exist. Uh, I'm speaking from experience. <laughs> um, the, re the way to go about this is to just find the things that you do in your day-to-day -day work uh, or productivity or whatever it is uh, where you, uh, you notice that you are doing the same repetitive tasks over and over again and see if there is a way that you can automate those. And then it's a case of breaking them down into the set steps that you take to do them. Uh, because Keyboard Maestro can control really a hell of a lot of the things that you do. And if there is a task that you do repetitively on your Mac, I can almost guarantee that you can program Keyboard Maestro to do it. And all it is a case of is, is it worth the time it takes you to program Keyboard Maestro uh, to save you the time of having to do the task in future? And I find if it's something you do more than a couple of times a month, uh, then it definitely is worth worth creating one. So... Um, and you will obviously get quicker at creating macros once you start doing it. But we're going to go through now and do this process of uh, basically what we want to do is we've got to copy the person's email address and then we want it to basically when we press our Stream Deck button, it will do almost everything else. The one thing we will have to do is we will we'll have to type the person's name manually. There is a way that we could get that as a separate action, but I won't complicate things for now. <laughs> so... Um, what would be the first step that we'd have to do? That's what we need to think about when we're creating these macros. Well, we've copied the email address, so the next step is we need to open mail. So let's go and do that in this macro. Uh, so I'm going to add a new Mac, uh, a new Mac, a new action, <laughs> and I'm going to come and search for. Uh, you can do open app, but I'm going to use activate because then it's uh, that's actually the better action to use. It will open it if it's not open, and it will just bring it to the foreground if it is uh, already open. So I'm going to look for activate. So I'm going to start typing it. And here you can see we've got uh, activate a specific application. And that's what we want because we want to activate our mail app. So I'm going to click that down there. And now uh, we can select which application it wants. It's defaulted to Finder because that happens to be the other active window that I've got at the moment apart from Keyboard Maestro. Uh, so I'm going to click on Finder and I'm going to change that to uh, mail. So in the process, we've now opened mail. So what do we do now? Well, we need to create a new email, don't we? So how do we do that? Well, the short keyboard shortcut for that is Command N. So the same as a new document in Word or whatever other program you're using, Command N is usually a new whatever it is for that application. So Command N is what we want to do. We want to type a keystroke. Now, if you remember before, uh, we did write type and what came up was this one type a keystroke and that's what we want that's for when we use keyboard shortcuts so we're not going to uh, insert text by typing like we did before just yet at the moment we just want to pre basically press command n so i'm going to double click that one and then here it's dropped it in down here as you can see and what we want to do is simulate the keystroke and we don't want return so let's just delete that out and click in here and i can just type command n and now we've got our command n so now in this process, we've opened mail, we've opened a, a fresh email or, or started composing a fresh email rather. And when you do command N in mail, it actually takes you to the to field. So that's the, the, the place where your cursor will be when you start a new mail. 
that's perfect because that's just where we need to be uh, in order to type our little text expander snippet to start that working. Now, if you remember, if I just come back to that, this is the uh, little snippet, X comma. So I'm just going to copy that from there and I'm going to come back to Keyboard Maestro. So what we want to do now is, now we want to trigger the snippet. So we're going to come to here and do insert text by typing, just like we did in the first example. And I'm just going to paste in that little snippet of text. Now, if you remember what is going to happen now, uh, when we're in a new email and we press the little uh, uh, keystroke, it's going to actually bring up a little pop-up where we have to enter the name of the person and then we press return to continue to actually paste in all of the, the different fields and that. That's what Text Expander does. Now there is something to be aware of with Keyboard Maestro and pop-ups because that can actually sort of break the chain because Keyboard Maestro is sort of waiting for an input uh, and that can be the same like if you're doing things like using Keyboard Maestro to shut down programs for example. If you try and shut down a program where you've got unsafe changes and it gives a pop-up then you have to be aware of that. There's a little workaround for this, which I'll, I'll tell you in another video, but it will actually sort of stop the whole chain of events. So we want to allow for this. And so the way that we want to do this is we know that we're going to be basically having to do some action here because we've got to put the person's name in and then press return. So what basically we want a uh, keyboard maestro to just pause for a while to hold on until we've done our bit. So fortunately there is a <laughs> keyboard maestro uh, action for this. So if I type pause uh, and we want to not just pause indefinitely, we want to pause until basically we finish doing our thing. So I'm going to click on this one, pause until. Okay. And it says uh, here, pause until uh, all of the following are true. Well, all we're waiting for is basically we're going to type the name and press return. So really the only thing we're waiting for is until return is pressed. Now I can click on this add condition. Now let me just move this up here a little bit. There are quite a lot of conditions to choose from and this just shows you how versatile Keyboard Maestro can be because there are so many different ways that you can program this. Uh, it's also the reason why some people find it a bit daunting because you know there's almost too, cho too much choice. Well what we want is we basically just want a until a key is pressed. So we're looking for a specific key condition and the key condition we're looking for is, as I say, until we press return. Because once we've pressed return, then we know we will have entered the name and then we're pressing return because we're ready for Text Expander to continue to populate the email. So I'm going to come here and the key that we're looking for, if I click in here and press that, is now saying return. And uh, the state we can either have is either up or down. So it's when it's down. So as soon as we press return, uh, we basically want to unpause this routine that we've got here. So uh, we're going to do all these steps and then when we get to here Keyboard Maestro is just going to wait for us till we press return and then it will carry on doing its thing. So what do we want it to do next? Well if you think about the steps in the process where we are uh, we've now with Text Expander because that's what we're simulating we've now gone through the process of uh, initiating the text expansion. The pop-ups come up we will have put the name in and pressed return uh, and then Text Expander, if you remember, will then go through and put in the email address. It will tab twice to put in the subject and then it will tab again to the body and then it will put in, you know, hi with the name that we've entered and put in the body of the email. And ordinarily, we would have to then send the email. So all of that doesn't happen instantaneously. There is a bit of time that it takes after we press enter for it to populate all of those fields. So although we've stopped it from... Uh, it's unpaused in Keyboard Maestro. We do want to have a bit of a delay before we actually try and send the email because otherwise all of the information won't be there. It only takes about a second to for Text Expander to pop it, uh, populate it. Um, but I'm just going to add a bit more of a delay in there. So I'm going to come ov over to here and just add delay. And uh, here what we want to do is an action delay because this pause is technically an action and then we've got another action which is going to be to send the email but we want to pause, uh, we want to delay between the pause and the send if that makes sense. So I'm going to click on action delay here. Now it only takes about a second to populate all of the information but just to be sure I'm going to allow three seconds because that's long enough that it will uh, give it plenty of time for Text Expander to fill out all the details uh, but it's not so long that it will feel like we're waiting for it to do its thing. Now 
what we want to do is here, we've got this delay, but we want to actually have a delay between actions. So we can select a few different things here and we just want to select between actions. So uh, set a delay of three seconds between basically this action and the following one. And the following action that we're going to add is basically a keyboard shortcut again, because we, there's a keyboard shortcut in mail to send the mail, which is command shift D. Uh, so if I uh, come over here and I just come to uh, type again, we're going to use this same thing that we've used before up here. And we're going to type keystroke. And the keystroke we're going to write is if I just come and click in this box and prop command shift D. Now that is it essentially. So uh, that might have been a little bit tricky to follow. I don't know, maybe not. <laughs> but uh, let's just have a look at what it's doing and bear in mind the process that we're going through. We've copied somebody's email address. We've got a text expander snippet that will do all this business of pasting it all into, uh, into an email, but we want to automate this so that we can trigger it with our stream deck. So we will have copied the email address and we press our button, which we're going to program in a moment. And Keyboard Maestro is going to open mail. It's going to create a new email. It's going to trigger the text expansion. Uh, it's going to wait until we've typed in the person's name and press return. And once we've pressed return, it's going to wait again for another three seconds while Text Expander fills out all the details of the email. Uh, and then it's going to press uh, Command Shift D for us to actually fire off the email. Right. So with a bit of luck, <laughs> let's move this out of the way and I'm going to create a button for this. So I'm going to come over to here and I'm going to use my KM link button again. And I'm just going to call this one uh, mail just so that we can see which is which now that we've got two of them on there. Uh, and then we're going to come down to the macro and we want to trigger. And if you remember, the last modified macro always comes up. So that's handy. The company info mail. So that's hopefully going to do what we want it to do. So let me come over to uh, another part of the screen for a moment. I've got our email address here. So I'm going to copy that. Let me just close this down and I'll just minimize this as well. Now, if I press my button, <laughs> let's see what happens. So I'm going to press the button. It started a new mail. It's triggered the text expander snippet. It's waiting now for me to type the name of the person in. So I'm just going to type my name. Doesn't matter what I type. Uh, and now when I press enter, it gives it time for text expander to work. And then after three seconds, it sends the mail. So all I actually had to do there was I copied the email address I uh, pressed the button <laughs> and then I entered the name of the person and pressed return and then that's it. It did everything else for me. Like I say, that might have sounded a little bit complicated, but what I want you to remember is it only took me uh, however long, I don't know, 10 minutes to actually program that. And once you get used to the sort of process and the flow of it, then uh, you'll find that you can actually create these quite quickly. And that can save you all of that time going forward. So 10 minutes spent now, uh, I've got macros like this that are set up and I've got some that are a lot simpler and some that are far more complicated. But I spent a bit of time sort of figuring it out once and they have saved me I'm talking about literally days and days and days of, of work. <laughs> when you add it all up, when you start doing these things regularly, it's literally saving days out of your life. It's quite, uh, quite frightening when you start to think about how much time you spend doing some of these things. I will uh, do some uh, more advanced ones than this as well, a little bit further down the line, but I'm hoping that that very sort of simple example that I gave to start with and this slightly more complicated example uh, just sort of start to make you understand uh, the sorts of things that are possible with it because it really is one of those things that your mind is the only limitation once you start getting into it because you can really do all sorts with Text Expander and, uh, well, sorry, with Keyboard Maestro you can have it simulate clicks on a particular part of the screen. You can have it open a website, go to a particular field on the website, enter information, go to grab other information. It's like it's it, the, the, it really boggles the mind what you can do with it. <laughs> but I'm hoping that that shows you how you can use uh, Keyboard Maestro and Text Expander and the Stream Deck together with those sort of three uh, three little uh, parts working together. It allows you to activate these things quite uh, quite simply from uh, from Stream Deck. And like I say, once you've set them up once, just duplicate them and change the actions that you want to trigger with them.
Uh, I hope that helps. If there are any unanswered questions or you've got it is raised further questions, then please feel free to leave them in the comments. And if you've got any specific use cases that you would like to say, yeah, but how about this or how about that? Leave them down in the comments as well. I'm more than happy to make these videos, you know, specific for particular use cases. In fact, a lot of the videos I've made recently have been because people have specifically reached out to say, how do you do this or how do you do that? So if you are asking the question, believe me, there will be hundreds or thousands or millions of other people uh, asking the same. Not on my channel. There'll be about uh, no more than, well, I think it's 372 maximum at the moment, but there you go. <laughs> Speaking of which, if you haven't already subscribed, oh, look at that for a segue, hey, ever the professional, uh, go down, hit the subscribe button. Also turn on notifications so that you get alerted the second I release any more keyboard maestro goodness to the uh, to the internet. <laughs> and uh, this is going to form the basis of, as I say, a whole series of uh, Mac productivity videos as well. So uh, I'll leave a link to the uh, the playlist for all of these related apps as well over on the uh, the right hand side. Don't go anywhere. There's plenty more coming up. Not to, not least that playlist, but there'll be another video up for you in the uh, top right as well.